Okay, I'm officially under 100k blood runes. Man, that's crazy. Using these blood runes like so fast, actually. But I guess I'll buy some more if I run out. Alright, wish me luck on this first drop though, before I do. No, they got rid of the little dream pool thing. Yeah, so it's official. Uh, after this week, two weeks now, since the boss came out, Iron Man can actually uh, do this boss with regular accounts. Oh, damn, they got rid of the safe spot. That sucks. <laughs> now it's going to be harder to do this boss. Alright, well, I'm going to take full advantage of the safe spots in that case. Oh, that's so cool, though. At least I can see XP drops. Alright, first kill since the change. And it's f***ing AIDS. <laughs> so much more AIDS. I'm gonna have to change how I fight this boss from now on, dude. Oh, nice. That's a good time. There we go. Okay, at least I can still get sub-20 kills. So, gave me a lot more motivation again, I guess. Oi! What? What the fuck? How did it hit me from there? I was on the opposite side. That made no sense, dude. Oh my god. I guess a somewhat interesting way to keep track of what's going on in terms of supply use is just to, yeah, show you every time I make like a thousand potions of something. I'm pretty much out of brews, so yeah, I just made a, a thousand three doses and I'm back up. So the next thing I gotta hit up is restores and uh, super combats coming up in the near future. Nani? What the hell, dude? You saw that shit? Dude, it spawned a square, like a 2x2 two two dark hole. Yo, this is crazy, man. I realized I started this grind with over 200k blood runes. I had like 250k. And I also made like 10,000 recently rune crafting, so... Yeah, man, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to buy some blood runes soon. Just like the typical amount I want left. Yeah, 1936. Oh, are we clue scroll? Hell yeah, man. I don't mind doing a clue scroll. It's been a hot minute. Alright, first master in like two weeks. Let's uh, have a sneak peek here. Eh? See what we get. Wow, it was meh. Pretty meh. 36, 32nd. Oh shit, new PB. It's been a while since I've actually gone a PB. Oh yay, we hit 700 KC. Totally forgot. Yeah, yeah, 300 more, and then we hit a thousand. Oh, 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 43 hill. Come on, got this one more. Oh, I healed a one. Troll. Please. Oh my goodness, it just hit. It. That was the max hit, dude. The parasite just healed an 80. I've seen it now. Holy shit, this is so freaking fast. I plowed through this second phase of parasites with only four doses of bomb uh, before the pillar. That's actually nuts. <laughs> this could be a PB. Dude, let's see. Let's see, man. Made some mistakes though on this last phase, but whatever. No biggie, no biggie. 1740 what are you kidding that's insane bro holy crap i don't think i can beat that time anytime soon the only way i can beat this is probably if i use scythe on every single face and i get lucky on the hits but yep bludgeon two faces scythe on the second phase holy crap 1740 Oh, <laughs> double kill! Yo, what are you? What? What, what is this? All right, guys, we're gonna take out forty thousand blood runes because I already gotta charge my stuff again. Feels bad, man. We're gonna put twenty thousand on the staff, and we're gonna do twenty thousand on the scythe. So, jeez, that's ridiculous. 
All right. Well, it's okay. You know, I'm, I'm gonna buy some more blood runes if, if I have to. But yeah, that puts me at 60k. So we've used, uh, you know, if you count these, that means I will have used 190,000 blood runes after I use up all these charges. Oh yeah, I just realized there's no point using my Sang Stab when it has like 1 HP left on the pillar. I could just pop it with a bludgeon and save myself 3 blood runes. Not a fan. Not a fan of having to do this, but... Kind of left me with no choice. Alright, so... This is uh, quite interesting because Old School RuneScape Twitter just posted something... Along the lines of Nightmare Update, it says soon, Focini's or Fosani's Nightmare Level 1024. I mean, if it isn't obvious enough as it is, that's gotta be some sort of alternate version of the Nightmare, right? Is is it hard mode? I mean, it's level 1000, which is like 200 levels higher than the regular Nightmare. So something's up. Uh, I think in a few days we're probably gonna find out. Uh, I'm thinking it's hard mode. So uh, I'm hoping there might be, you know, better drop rates, right? It's just kind of, kind of makes sense. A hard mode, obviously, got to be more rewarding, right? Cross our fingers, man, because this could change everything for this grind. All right, guys. Focini's Nightmare has come out, and it is a hard mode version of the regular Nightmare. So why did they release this? Well, very unexpectedly, they're just releasing it for a one-week event for people to compete in for times. And the faster times, like the fastest times, you get like bonds and like some physical prizes from Jagex, which will probably take uh, two years to be delivered to whoever wins. And it's also same for streamers to streamer competition. Now, I am very disappointed that this is what the hard mode version is all about. Because the hard mode version, I thought reasonably, would maybe fix the issue of the drop rates being too unrealistically rare. The regular drops suck, and the unique drops is more rare than stuff like a Tebow. So as you can tell, nobody really does this boss. This is the only major boss of 2020. There's nothing else this year for bossing, and it's already dead content, right? So I was thinking, hey, hard mode nightmare might fix that problem because right a harder version may imply a better chance to get the uniques right maybe a more realistic chance so yeah man they fucked it up they could have used the hard mode version as a way to fix the boss and actually make it somewhat popular but they decided to turn it into just a mere one-week community event. Where is this? Is it over here? Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna try out the hard mode, uh, just to see what's up with it, you know? I heard it has less HP, so... I'm hoping that, even though the drivers are the same, if I can kill this faster, it might be worthwhile? I'm not... I'm not really sure, so we'll, we'll find out, we'll find out. Okay. The prayers are f***ing reversed. It's not the same as the normal reverse. And it's gonna take a while for me to get used to, man. What? This thing healed at 108. Damn, they bumped up the healing on this shit. That sucks. Alright, we just finished our first, first one. Took super crazy supplies. Ooh, that took so long, man. I'm gonna try with the bludgeon. I mean, uh, I'm gonna try bringing the uh, scythe again. For a P2. But it's not looking too good. Honestly, even if this is faster by a little bit, the amount of supplies I use versus uh, the regular Solo Nightmare it is so crazy. Like, I use so much more supplies. Like, look at this. I didn't even... Like, I minimized my, my setup and I, I still use a bunch of brews. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. All right, we just finished our second hard mode, and uh, yeah, man, unfortunately, the information that I got about this boss, this hard mode being uh, less HP, is not true. They are the same HP, so there's no way in hell I'll actually be able to average kill times faster than regular Nightmare. 
And yeah, the, the supplies you use is like absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, no reason for me to do this, unfortunately. Definitely not worth the, uh, the supply use, so. All right, guys, let me show you how I uh, bank bombs really quickly because it's kind of cool. So, you know, you buy your bombs, teleport your house, right? It's very important here because you're going to use the butler to bank. But before I click on uh, the butler for him to bank, I'm going to right-click House Wars Deli on the jewelry box because it saved uh, my last deli. Click on it. Now call the butler, and then I deposit it with the butler. And look, the... Action still continues and I teleport immediately to Castle Wars super fast. Alright, so potion update. I just uh, replenished super stores. But yeah, I've been going through prayer pots and brews quite fast as well. But uh, the next big thing I gotta work on now is these super combats. I only have 100 left, pretty much. So, oh yeah, I finally finished all my uh, super combats. So we have a thousand super combats now. All my potions are looking pretty decent. So, I can probably grind for like another week or two before I might have to uh, make some more potions. Come on, we can definitely kill this before the parasite spawns. Bullshit, come on. Are you serious? One HP. Oh my God. <gasps> all right, guys, I'm gonna go full send. I'm gonna go all in. Let's go for it. Ow. Oh God. Basically, this should last me a while. 14K on site, 13K on staff. But I basically am out of blood runes now. So, yeah, we're gonna have to start buying blood runes pretty soon. But yo, I'll tell you about the plan when that happens. Fingers crossed we get something. So I just discovered something recently regarding the husk in phase 1. So when the husk spawn, there's actually two different types of husks that are attached to the person. One is the skinnier one that mages you and the most dangerous because it hits really hard through melee armor. And the other one is the uh, chunkier one, the ranger. That one should be taken care of second because I've noticed that if I annihilate the mage one quickly, I take usually a lot less damage. Screw that. Nature runes, okay, we, uh, we are 900 KC. So I've been keeping track of my solo kills by picking up the big bones ever since my 150th solo. So I have 57 in my bank, which means I'm over 200 solo kills. And the chance to get a drop solo is one in 250. So I'm getting really close already. Not even counting the group KCs that I have. Ugh. There we go, I learned. I should always be near the middle when I'm about to finish off phase one pillars. Just in case, you know, the hush shows up. I don't, have, I don't even have to time it or anything. That way I can always kill the hustle on time, no matter where it spawns. Oh man, this is it. 1000 KC? God, Antine. Yay! Oh my god. That's awesome, man. I can't wait to make a video of loot from 1000 of these with, uh, yeah, negative millions in profit. Hooray. 200 hours, baby. Let's get it. We keep going. All right, guys, so here it is again, the uh, loot. So I haven't been doing really anything other than Nightmare, so Rune Light's been able to easily keep track of all of that stuff. So we got 651 kills, a lot of it. I think a third of it's probably solos now at this point, based on these bones, pretty evident. But yeah, man, even then, this is the loot. The best drops are uh, the Sanfu Serums, the Prayer Pots, and... The brews and the torch dolls? Yeah. But a mediocre 13.3 mil, which is, uh, this is like 100 plus hours of grinding right here. So, yeah, 250,000 blood runes down the drain, and who knows how many goddamn potions. But uh, hopefully, one day I will show you a loot of Nightmare with something that isn't just the regular drops. Maybe in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and 
Bye-bye.